sitting here seam ripping for a different video, thrift haul, and really just want to sew something. I have an idea for something that should be pretty quick. We're going to do that instead, and I'll save seam ripping for a different day. The first thing you should know is that I used a fitted sheet and I hadn't watched my video on how you can utilize all the parts of a fitted sheet by removing the elastic and ripping the seams at the corners. So I wasted a lot of fabric by cutting off the edges. And then, since I'm a perfectionist, I felt the need to fold it into a square and make sure that I had a square then, you know, refold it a different way and make sure I genuinely, genuinely had a square. Once that was all set, I held it up to me and figured out where the armpit would fall. I marked that with a pin. And then I cut from the corner diagonally up to that point. I'll get into it later, but I should have cut not as far. This is where I cut out the collar. I kind of winged it. I did mark it a little bit so that I made sure it was a curve, but other than that, it was a guess. I did a rolled hem for the edges, and I made sure to press down so that the hem would be nice and easy to sew. This is the general idea of what we're going for. So then to do the seams, I did what's called a French seam, which you can't really see what I'm doing. I know I did a banging job at explaining French seams. And I mean, why mess with perfection? But. Uh... Just in case you couldn't see anything I was doing, I decided to do a little demonstration with some leftover fabric. This will make it easy to see which is the right side and which is the wrong side. What you do in a French seam is a little bit different from other seams. The first thing you want to do is you want to put your wrong sides together like that so your right sides are facing out. And you want to sew along here. Once you've sewn it, what you should do that I didn't do in the video anyway, take your scissors, just trim down your seam allowance. The reason for that is, once you have it trimmed like this, where it's nice and short, you flip it over like that, and you're gonna sew it again. Now, a tip that I'm gonna give you, just for overall sewing, is that you always need to press. Press, press, press. So you'll want to iron this out, it'll make it a whole lot easier. I'm not going to do that now because my ironing board is covered and this is just a demonstration. So I'm just going to real quick sew this up so that you can see what it looks like. So I have sewn it right there, you can see it across the, the black lines a little bit. Just sewn that seam. And when you flip it out, that's what the front looks like. And then on the back, it's all encased so you don't have any raw edges showing. Because when I did mine, I didn't trim it in between, you can actually see some of the raw edge peeking through. A little mohawk of fabric. Not quite as clean looking, but not terribly noticeable. So I left it. And that is how you do a French seam. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. I hemmed the collar, and then I sewed a channel for the elastic to go through, and that is when tragedy struck. Like, this whole thing was so easy. Until the neckline. Okay, I have to stop and look at what I'm doing, because I'm thinking I'm making a horrendous mistake. I know there's a way to do it so that this doesn't happen. I just don't know what it is. I don't want it big enough so I can wear it like that. It's easier to do too much than too little. like that. 
I feel like you've seen me thread elastic through a channel enough times to get the idea, so I just I threaded the elastic through the channel. And that was it! So here we are, my beautiful elf shirt, elf tunic, I guess is really what it is. It's actually been several months since I made this. I kind of wanted to do a conclusion to wrap it all up, let you know what I like, what I don't like. I love this shirt. I wear it all the time. And it was to make. Overall, it probably took me about an hour and a half. Now that I know what to do, I would say this is an hour project. Some things that I would change. I would give myself more room in the armpits. If you can see, it kind of stretches here, kind of stretches across the top, and it's right here. So when I go to take it off, I have to do the trick where you pull your arms out first. Something else that I would change is I never had to do like the curved collar. So I didn't ease it at all. I usually wear this the other way. I wore it this way to show you. You can see it is, Crooked. I didn't make any cuts to accommodate for easing. So what happened was it was just pushing the fabric along, pushing the fabric along. By the time I realized it, there was really nothing to be done except cut it all out, which I didn't want to do, or just work with it. So I just worked with it. Those are my only problems with it. It is just my favorite thing that I've made so far. And I was really excited to show it to you guys. If you're looking for a quick, easy costume that you can make yourself. Perfect. If you want to see more content like this, I want to do more content like this. So you should definitely subscribe. I have a really exciting couple of videos coming up next, so you should probably stick around. Until next time. I can't help it. I want a shirt. I'm gonna make something. I get to the cool part, and the cool part's wearing it and saying, I made this! So. So. <laughs> you are not woofing in my video. Butters. Butters! <laughs> hey! What did I just say? <sighs> anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm also too stubborn to start over. You can be... You can be any kind of elf or archer or Robin Hood or Link. Uh, I think their, their sleeves probably aren't as cool as this, but... I still think it looks pretty awesome.